Tanya. And I'm Maddie. And we're Tweaks. Twin. Tween. Geeks. Today we are going to be reviewing How to Train Your Dragon 2. The movie is about a bunch of Vikings who live on the Isle of Berk. Well, in the first movie, they're really afraid of dragons and they teach everyone to kill dragons and hate dragons. But then Hiccup, the chief's son, convinces them that dragons are good and so everyone loves dragons now and they're like Yay. dogs to them. Oh. Oh, no, that doesn't work out. In How to Train a Dragon 2, there's this mean dragon trainer who wants to kidnap all of the dragons and turn them into a huge dragon army so he can kill everyone. The movie is loosely based on the book series How to Train a Dragon by Curtis Akawa. In terms of book to movie, it's about as similar as the Percy Jackson movie. The only thing that's similar between the book and the movies is that there are Vikings, dragons, and a boy named Hiccup. Yeah. And for a movie itself, it was actually a really good movie, but from book to movie, not good at all. But I still think you should read the books or listen to the audiobooks read by David Tennant. One of the things I've really been hating lately is all these good books. I get so excited because they're about to be turned into a movie. Yay! And I go to see the movie, so excited with my friends, and then it's like, it's not the book didn't even matter they just used the title yeah and they just change the everything and it's really getting on my nerve like the giver they're completely changing it and that was one of my favorite books yeah the book is centered around a bunch of 12 to 13 year olds and in the, the movie it's, it's a bunch of teenagers so they can be a like a love story about it yeah and apparently they're going to be a rosemary like rosemary rosemary was, wasn't in it rosemary was just a character in a flashback um, so Taylor Swift is going to play a made-up character. <sighs> in the new Insurgent movie for the Divergent series, one of the things I liked was there was only one guy that wasn't a love triangle. Well, now they're adding another guy named Edgar, who's going to be Triss's other love, love interest. interest. And that's just not right. There's there no, no Edgar in, in the, the book. book. Like, it's supposed to be just Tobias. Well, but there's an Edward, but, but it's not right. <clears throat> oh, in How to Train Your Dragon 2, they changed it completely. So, in the books, Hiccup's mom is there, but in the movie, he just finds his mom. So, what's, what's up with yeah, that? Yeah, and Astrid isn't he, his girlfriend. I remember, I think she was, she was, she was in, in it, it, but she, but wasn't, she wasn't like, she was a jerk. Yeah, she was one of the people who bullied Hiccup, actually, so, yeah. There's more differences, but that would totally spoil, spoil the movie, so, so we're not going to tell I love the dragons so much. You just remind me of dogs. And every time a dragon gets hurt or something, or a dragon's being really cute, I just want to like hug it all. They're so nice. Love oh my dragons. God. They are so cute. And their owners love them too, and they treat them like dogs. Like, yeah. They rub their bellies, and they play with them, and they have toys. My favorite character is Toothless by far. He's just adorable and so cute and lovable. This is definitely Tweaks of Very much so. So, that's all for now. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe.